Once upon a time in the 16th century, the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V had an unusual affection for exotic wildlife, especially giraffes. This fascination led to a unique chapter in history when he received a giraffe as a gift from the ruler of Egypt in 1552. This wasn't any ordinary giraffe, but Zarafa, the first of her kind to grace Europe with her presence in over a thousand years. Zarafa's journey from Africa to Naples was nothing short of extraordinary. She was then transported across the continent destined for Charles V in Spain. Her arrival was a spectacle, drawing curious crowds eager to catch a glimpse of this tall, spotted creature. Zarafa's arrival in Spain was met with great joy by the emperor. In her honor, he held grand feasts and festivities, marking the occasion with pomp and splendor. But Zarafa wasn't initially on board with the European way of life. Her diet, in particular, posed a problem. Fed beer and wine instead of her usual fare, Zarafa found the European cuisine quite disagreeable. In an effort to make Zarafa feel more at home, Charles V had a special stable constructed for her, designed to mirror the African savanna. He even went as far as importing trees and plants from Africa and enlisting a Nubian servant to care for her. Zarafa's presence in the court of Charles V wasn't just a novelty. It became a symbol of prestige and power. It showcased the emperor's far-reaching connections and influence. Her arrival stirred up quite a buzz, and to this day, Zarafa's story is a testament to the fascinating and often surprising intersections of history and nature. So, there you have it. The tale of Zarafa, a giraffe that traveled continents, dazzled an emperor and left an indelible mark on history. But it's not just a story of a giraffe and an emperor, but a tale of curiosity, fascination, and the extraordinary lengths one will go to indulge in their passions.